this is just a short video to show you how I modified the free wing F35 and first you can see the um, location for the battery hatch has been moved more backward so basically I cut off this piece of foam and uh, re uh, cut off the whole cage and uh, re-glue the cage backward so I, I plug in the battery all right so show you how I set up the <coughs> The main gear and the nose gear. Okay, you can see the. Uh, <clears throat> I replaced the um, servo activated retract to electric retract and the gear door with a string to make it close. So this takes some trial and error. Eventually, I'll figure this out. And uh, because this piece of uh, leg is in this direction, make it easy to slide through the, do the door and close it. The nose door is not a, a great setup. It just works. And I use a fishing wire to uh, kind of pop the door open. Okay, you can see the close, not too perfect. Anyway. And I cut a cheater hole on here. On the back, I just um, made it a, the uh, ESC ESC hatch. And then here's magnets, magnets here, and so that I make it easy to replace to remove the ESC. So I use this. The uh, Hobby King 6070 amp ESC, and to replace that will be fairly easy because I can just pull out and uh, plug to a different airplane. And I use some wood spar. It's actually the uh, mixing stick, glued in between. That kind of reinforce between the two half of the fuse, two half of the wings and fuse lodge, so that when I have a high G. IG pull up or banking turn, the wing and the fuselage will not fold or will not fold. Alright, thank you for watching.